Washington County School District. So we're going to turn it over to Tony. Right now we have essential elements coming throughout the state and we're looking at digital teaching and learning. And there's a big question out there. It asks, does digital teaching and learning really make a difference? So I'm here to talk a little bit about that question today and give you some things to maybe think about. Because we live in a time when learning can be all of these different things, blended, online, STEM, personalized, project-based, authentic, and we call it all of these things. But how do we know which is the right thing or are the right things to do for your students and for learning in your classroom? If we look at the initiatives across the nation, we see the journalists and the researchers saying these positive things and these negative things, and they're all over the place with digital teaching and learning. And so how do you know what is the best thing to do? Again, what's right for your kids? We see pictures like this with the funeral rows or the cemetery rows and the engaging classrooms. And we look at all of that stuff and we should all be asking that same question. But the answer is really dependent on how we define a difference. Testing is important and getting that information back, knowing where our kid's at, that's critical. But are we looking long term for the testing difference? Are we looking for the future and life ready difference? Because ultimately we're trying to prepare our students for a future where most high paying creative jobs are going to be focused on creativity. And these low wage, low skilled work is going to be all this other stuff. And if we want our kids to be prepared, we need to be focusing on that. If we take the structures we have in place, we can increase equity in ensuring high levels of learning for every student. But if we leave digital teaching and learning off to the side and those tools and resources, there are some things that are going to be missing. So if we bring together a digital teaching and learning strategy and connect that, we also increase our efficiency and our effectiveness. And we have right there in the center increased and high levels of learning for every student by doing that because we have the tools, the practices, and the structures in place. Highly effective teachers help their students do all of these things. That's the language from the Utah Teaching Observation Tool there. And it's really critical that you're getting your kids there, you're thinking about collaboration and all of that. And within that, there are three big key ideas. The first is cognitive engagement. We're looking to enhance learning through the breadth and the depth of learning. And we want to engage our learners by actively involving students in the learning process. I want you to be thinking how these digital tools help. For student responsibility for learning is the second one. We can extend learning to 24-7, 365 access. And we can help students self-assess and evaluate their own learning and measure where they're at, figure things out and see what they're accomplishing. We can build their 21st century skills. We want to enrich life, career types of connections so they see what life should be about and see that learning is applicable to that. Those real world applications and experiences help them explore what they want to do, what they want to pursue. And so we need to be crystal clear about what we want our students to know and be able to do before we consider how digital tools and resources will help them accomplish those outcomes. We need to really consider the what if with our kids before we default to standing in front of them and telling them this is how you do this. So we get them thinking and considering possibilities we may not have even thought about or explored. We need to look at the needs and interests of each learner in our classroom and then we need to stop and redefine the learning experience based on their needs and the things that will help them grow and flourish. We need to really look at the balance between trust and creativity in relation to control and compliance. And that can be scary sometimes because if we trust those students to do things, sometimes they're going to make a mistake and we have to teach them how to fix that and how to move forward. We need to teach them to learn how to use new tools rather than to use new tools. Because throughout their life, they will experience so many tools we can't even think about how many will be there. So they need to be able to jump into something new and move. We need to prepare them with instruction that gets them ready to do things like we do them in real life. Instead of just trying to engage learners while we cover the core. And we need to give them those experiences that all of our other presenters have talked about because ultimately we need to prepare our students for their future 
We must teach them as if it were tomorrow through the work that we do today. And if we do those things and consider those things, then I submit that digital teaching and learning really will make a difference for students in your classroom. Thank you.